Welcome back to Peace, Love and Tarot. This reading is for Cancer, Sun, Moon and Rising. And it's the weekly reading for the week of September 16 to the 22nd. So your cards this week, Cancer. We have Oracle card, Anna, Grandmother of Jesus. We have the World with the Devil. We have the Knight of Wands with the Page of Pentacles. And we have the Six of Wands with the Fool. So as you can see, Cancer, it's quite a significant reading because you have half of the reading here of Major Arcana. So the amount of Major Arcana you have, you know, usually indicates the significance of the reading and also um, that it's linked to, you know, life lessons or karmic contracts with the Minor Arcana being more how that's going to play out in your daily life. So let's start by reading out your oracle card here. Now this particular oracle card is an activation card. So it's about activating the energy of this within you. So Anna, Grandmother of Jesus, Seeding the Light, Laying Foundations, Divine Plan. Anna, Grandmother of Jesus, was an ancient mystic who dedicated her life to laying the foundations for Christ consciousness to be woven through all of life. She is not widely known, but without her, Christ consciousness would not be rising as it is today. Anna represents the quiet dedication that is sometimes required to live a life of service. She represents the generations that came before that devoted their lives to dreaming a new world into being, while knowing that they would not see the glorious end result. Now, um, no matter what religion you personally follow, Christ consciousness really is um, the soul ascension. It's the raising of vibration that everybody is going through um, at the moment in the age of Aquarius, which is going to birth the new world. So as an activation card, that tells me that some of you are going through a period of awakening, a period of raising your own vibration um, so that, you know, you really... Uh, that you really are part of that movement, we all are, but once we raise our vibration, it's um, often our lives begin to change because things that don't hold that frequency start to very quickly fall away. And that's what you can see here, um, uh, we'll start with the Devil and the World card. So, you know, when your energy starts raising, when that vi um, vibrational fre frequency starts to increase within you, Usually situations that are toxic or don't fit or don't serve your highest purpose, they make themselves even more known than ever before so that they can be released. So we have the devil energy here and we have that with the world. So we'll start with the devil, but the world indicates a really strong completing of a toxic situation. So devil energy can be a situation that has sort of held you bound. It can be a codependent relationship, a codependent job even, um, maybe being stuck in a career that paid you, you know, great money but um, it held you back from your highest purpose and your passion but you stayed in it because, you know, it was giving you other things. As a, it could be a situation of, a, you know, toxic relationship with a family member or a friend. It's a situation that slowly over time, um, you know, can suck your life force and, you know, really deplete your energy sources. But you can see here um, the people in the cards, they have they have the, <clears throat> the chains around the neck, but they are loose enough that they could release themselves from the shackles. So there is this element of choosing to stay in that situation because at some level there was a payoff for you. But if you are going through this period of increasing your vibrational frequency, becoming, you know, allowing more light energy into your soul, into your spirit, then darkness come, becomes exposed. It comes up to be released. So I really feel that more than ever, you are really aware of the situation. And some of you may have already started the process of releasing it. But I think that you're, you're very clear on what the situation is. Could be different for, for all of you since this is a general reading. But I think that the, the theme really is moving away from this so that you can basically enter uh, a chapter that's much more aligned with your life's journey. So we have that with the world card here. So the world card indicates um, huge completion basically. It's the last card in the tarot deck. So it says that that you've arrived and there is a sense of victory um, in that arrival and you have two cards of victory in this reading. So I think what it is saying is that through releasing this situation you will be rewarded. Um, you know the world is about that Saturnian energy of 
um, cyclic completion. So it says that when we finish one life lesson, we jump through the hoop of life directly into the next one. So it's like the sliding doors. But the next chapter for you is looks like it's something a lot more um, bright and much more in alignment with who you truly are. The world um, as an energy says that what the magician, which is card number one, set out to wish into the world or will into the world with intention alone has completed. So at some stage, whatever the situation was, you could have actually, you know, created it. You could have wanted it. And perhaps, you know, you needed to experience that, whether it was started off positive or whether it was it was always slightly toxic. It was a karmic contract and it was in your life for a reason. However, now you have um, you've achieved you, what you needed to in that situation, you've learnt the lesson, the karmic contract is now complete and it's time to move on. And the dancer of life that you see in the world card, uh, sorry I think that one was there, you know she is basically, you know, she is in life's flow so by releasing things that no longer serve her, she can flow directly into the next chapter. And once you do that, um, you can see here that we have a lot of indicator of fast progression and solid progress. So we have the Knight of Wands, fast moving energy, progress, uh, becoming re-inspired, discovering new passions, exploring new territories. Uh, you can also see the three dunes in, you know, in the desert here that the Knight of Wands charges across. And threes in tarot are the beginning of manifestations. So now that you've cleared the space, you can see that it's all about the beginnings of manifesting a new chapter. You know, yes, there might be a period in between where it sort of feels like you are crossing the barren desert. You know, often there is that slight um, feeling of being in the in-between space, but I don't think that's going to be uh, there for long, given that we have the Page of Pentacles here, who offers... Um, a real solid opportunity. So the Page of Pentacles is a messenger, a messenger of opportunity, and he holds the Ace of Pentacles. Now, Pentacles is the suit of solidity, stability. It can also be a financial offer, um, a new job contract, uh, a new home, something like that. But with the um, Ace being number one in each of the tarot suits, what they are is the seeds of pure potential and just like you know any seeds that you plant you can't just leave them in the ground and, and hope for the best you do actually need to take some inspired action you have to water them you have to nurture them you have to give them the right amount of light so that then they can grow and develop into the you know to give you the harvest that you desire and that's what the knight of wands will help you do because the knight of wands is all about action so I think that this week there could potentially be the seeds of new beginnings, new manifestations that come in for you, but it's asking you to pursue them. So if there is somebody that comes in and says, hey, you know, I've got this um, new job offer that could be perfect for you, actually have a conversation with someone, put your resume in, whatever it may be, take the, take the action to pursue it because the potential is there for it to grow and flourish and become something that will be really fruitful for you. So in the near future, we have the full and we have the six of wands. So here we go. I mean, to have this in the reading, the full card following on from the world, this is strong, strong completion, but the most beautiful uh, new beginnings under the full. Because the full card is all about, you know, restored trust and faith in the universe, taking that leap, taking a leap of faith into a new journey, even if you don't really know what the destination will be. So the full also just takes the necessary belongings. You can see he's got the small bag there. He's not, you know, taking the baggage from the past. He's just, you know, with a head held high, taking the first tentative steps on a new journey, just with the things that he needs. And yes, you know, there will be challenges, as indicated by the mountains in the background, on that new journey, as it always is. But he's not worried about that, because he just knows that it's the right time to start that new journey. You know, there is the reminder to trust your instincts as you begin a new journey. 
but I do feel that there is a strong element of divine guidance here. We've got the link to the sun card here. And of course we have this Anna, grandmother of Jesus, this element of divinity guiding you along the way. And crossed with the six of wands here. I mean, six of wands is all about victory and, you know, forward movement in a victorious direction. So I really feel like this new journey could be... Uh, you know, one of great victory for you, of success, achievement. I think that's setting you on the road to achievement. And with the Six of Wands, there's uh, also, um, you know, you could be publicly recognized for that. Some people might say to you, oh, well, you know, your energy's really shifted or you're doing really well or, you know, what's changed in your life? I think people will actually be able to see that shift in you. Either way, you know, we have such a, you know, strong ending and new beginning here. It's the perfect tarot bookends here of this reading. But the key to really accessing you that this new start and creating the space for these opportunities to come in is to release the darkness and to release that toxicity. Um, you'll know what it is in your situation that's holding you back. Um, you know, your energy... Is, is increasing, that vibration is lifting, so I think that will um, help this naturally fall away, but it's not always without, without its pain, you know, without its heartbreak, but we all know that through releasing the darkness, then we'll just create more space for the light to come in. So that's what I have for you, Cancer. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Um, keep in mind it is a general reading, so it won't resonate for every Cancer out there. Um, feel free to leave me a comment. I'd love to hear how it's playing out in your daily life. And I'll be back here for another reading with you next week.